All right, guys, we're back, and we gotta. Looks like we gotta um kill, finish killing all those legionaries. So, I failed recording, and there's only like one there, so this will not take very long, guys. We're just gonna be in and out right there. And after we turn this quest, we need to uh, make a quick um jump to um that mountain up there, not the the um Jacobs. Jacob's Town, that's what it is. Jacob's Town. That's where we need to go now, after this. So yeah, we'll go back to episode 86. Alright. That's what episode we're on right now. And then after this, we gotta do a quest uh, called Stolen in the Dark. Because um, then that leads to another there quest you we gotta are. do. That's it. That's all I had to do. Let's kill this one guy. Update. Quest update. Waiting for an update. There we go. Yeah, so yeah, we gotta make it quick trip and go get Rex because he's really useful yeah, let's talk to this guy yeah. hello hello you're back what can I do for you uh, update on caught let's hear it kill everyone in the camp what how did you pull it off just kill everyone in the old-fashioned way. A single man slaughters an entire camp of legionaries? I'm amazed. It took everything we had in the last battle at the dam to stand against those brutes. You're a beast, son. You've done a fine job, friend. Here's a little something for your work. Yeah. Goodbye. Sir. Oof, 900 XP. Oh, that was worth it. Alright, so we gotta complete this quest. Um, still in the dark. So first, you gotta go get uh, Mr. Rex, our faithful companion. We didn't really get to see his new abilities yet, so we gotta see his new abilities. I think he's still inside. That's where he is. I wonder if there's any quests we could still do here. If there is, I'll find out. Like once we find it in the list. Someday, I miss being in the master. Cause we're like in the E's, so I don't think there's very many ones to be. We're almost done. We, yeah. Ghost we gotta do soon is the flag of full ups, which is the one we remember we got had to get those kills for. Yeah, it's basically we gotta. Looks get like the. Come with us. War's ratcheting up. I hear the NCOs bringing in elite troops. All right, Rex and Lily, let's go. The Hilly Pin Valley bunker. All right, uh, let's talk to whoever we need to talk to in here. Continue the quest. Ooh, it's daytime. Let us still the matter. Killing scorpions. Oh, whoa, Rex is fast. Look at him go. Wow, he's fast. Let's go inside. Alright. Yep, they're coming with me. Just like how fast he runs. Yeah, that's just getting pretty good. Hopefully we can get some weapons. Yeah, cause I, I read what we get to the next quest after this. It's pretty good. 
Hey. Let's go. Here. Talk to the elder. I think there's a little more onto this quest um, before we finish still in the dark. But yeah, let's finish. When you first showed up on our doorstep, I'll admit at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of great use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here. Though no, we will be keeping an eye on you. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? I'll help you. Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. Uh, I think I found one of your patrols. Both paladins are dead. While that is disheartening news, there remains hope that the other two patrols may still be found alive. I'll be on the look immediately. I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them, but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. All right. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. All right. Missing, completed, all right. So, you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter, and I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the Elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble, and he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? Sure, go ahead. As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new elder is installed. How do you probably do that? I don't know. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters. So they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the Elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you, and you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. Will you at least think about it? I'll see what I can do. That'll have to do. I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. As head of security, he's more familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. You could also try to find something relevant in our data store, though last I heard Scribe Ibsen is having a bit of a problem accessing it. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. Report anything you find to me, and we'll move from there. All right. Senior Paladin. There's one guy there. That's the guy. Um, the other thing. So let's talk to the Senior Paladin. Maybe he'll know something. Morning. Oh, I, said, I thought I said warning. Where's this dude at? Okay. Let's go find him. Say hello. 
Oh, it's upstairs, maybe? Yeah, yes, it's right here. Alright, hello! Your presence here, let's just say it's highly irregular. Outsiders aren't even allowed to know that our bunker's here, let alone come and go freely. You impressed Elder McNamara, obviously. He must believe that you'd be very useful. What would you, what would Elder have to get kicked out? So, you've been talking to Harden, eh? He's been looking for a way to usurp McNamara ever since the lockdown started. Don't get me wrong, he's a good man. But Elder McNamara has done all right by us. If it weren't for him, none of us would have survived at Helios. I'll tell you what I told Harden. There have been only a few cases of elders being dismissed from their posts in the Brotherhood's history. And those involve crimes that someone like Elder McNamara is just not capable of. You can look it up for yourself if you want. I'll grant you access to that portion of the history section of our data store. See Senior Scribe Ibsen about accessing it. Um, see. Alright. Too late. Alright, so let's go talk to the, um... Are you okay, Lily? How did you get down there? Oh, did you see Rex just jump? That was an amazing jump, Rex. Our instruments show some impressive power fluctuations coming from across the river. What's going on over there? Oh yeah, because we're making those robots currently. Hey, scribe. Look, this isn't a great time. Oh, what the hell? It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ibsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. Uh, something wrong? Yeah, I'm in charge of keeping this data system up and running, but accessing it is a little, uh, touch and go at the moment. What's that? One of our exploratory patrols, back when we had exploratory patrols, found a data disk in some ruins out in the waste. Well, we finally got around to cataloging the damn thing and got shut out of our own data store the second it loaded. Turns out it had a virus on it. Why aren't there any patrols anymore? Oh, there are patrols. Just not exploratory ones. We've been in a state of lockdown for, well, let's just say it's been a while. The only time anyone gets to go topside is guard duty or to gather provisions. Other than that, it's steel walls and fluorescent lights for us. I locked. That's not really for me to say. It's a bit of a touchy subject. You should probably forget I mentioned it. What about the virus? Yeah, some pre-war jackass with too much time on his hands apparently decided to inflict his misery on those around him. It's scrambling all the terminals here at the moment. Luckily, we only use this section for storing historical data. You think I can do that? I suppose it couldn't hurt to get another pair of eyes on this. Maybe you'll be able to come up with something coming at it fresh. While the entire system is infected, the virus itself is spread across three terminals. The problem is that it keeps moving periodically. We'll have it nailed down in a terminal or two, only to have it jump to another set of terminals before we locate the third. You can just delete all the files that would get rid of the virus, right? What do I need to do? You'll need to locate it on three different terminals in this area in one minute. Any longer and it'll jump, and you'll have to start all over. Locating the virus would probably be nearly impossible. But the pompous little bastard that wrote it made things a little easier for us. Normally, terminals infected by the virus just display gibberish. But we found that terminals the virus moved to had some real data passed to them. We were able to decrypt the data and discovered that it was just messages from the virus's writer taunting his victims. When you find terminals with those messages, lock them down and move on. Find three of them before the virus jumps, and we'll wipe the damn thing. I'll, I'll give it a try then. Best of luck to you. I'll tell the others to take a break so they don't get in your way. Oh, and I'll keep track of when it jumps for you. To maximize your chances, wait for my signal before you begin. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll just play around with it. Oh, uh, load? I guess that's not the one. How many are there? It's just me. That one's not it. What about this one? Well, I don't see any messages. Well, there the is a ton. Just, just jumped, alright. We got one minute. Jumped. Find which terminals it went to. 
This is probably getting hard. Uh, this one, uh, hello? Access. Access. Suckers catching isolate virus. Ten seconds. Hey. What? Already? It's so hard to find which one it is. I don't know if we can do this. No, that's just gibberish. This morning. One. Morning? No, not good morning. No. Oops. Sorry. Um. They're all looking at him. How about you? Morning. There's so many terminals. I've only seen it like happen once. Like where that's like all where it actually shows it. Uh I haven't seen one. Where are they at? I find all of them. Ah, uh, come on. Can I freeze tie or something? Hello. I haven't seen one with it on. Where's it at? Oh, uh, guys, I have to figure this out. 